Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, today's video we are going to look at a very important trading setup that we are uh, very close uh, that is in the process of being developed uh, is on FTSE, FTSE 100 and I'm going to do some commentary on other two, uh, other three indices uh, that are US indices, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, S&P 500. Uh, right now we do not have, we had, do, do have some um, trend that actually going on right now but a developing uh, trading setup is happening right now in FTSE and it's very interesting to see but uh, Dow Jones is very important so please pay attention on both of these things if you guys are interested on knowing uh, why did I change my forecast uh, from long-term bullish on cryptocurrency to being bearish long-term uh, that is in next year and a half so uh, in that case you can definitely if you're interested uh, I would definitely present some reasons why did I change my analysis so if you got interested you can actually listen to that at the end of the video so it says first of all we'll uh, we'll look at the FTSE trading setup and then we'll actually examine all three of them and then in, in, in the end we'll look at BTC Bitcoin so FTSE is uh, is going through some very interesting stage right now uh, we were uh, looking for bearish strong movement right over here too. We did su see some bearish price movement, but it was unable to continue onward downward. Uh, right now we are seeing the end of the correction. We are uh, very close to the end of the correction that actually started from over here, which is W, X and Y. It's a double three, uh, double three corrective pattern in Elliott Wave analysis. We have a double zigzag in here. We have double zigzag in X and then we have a flat correction in uh, why so that's very interesting to know uh, first of all let's have a look at what should you know, trigger our entry point this diagonal support line black one is an important one and this horizontal black line is also important one when prices falls below that uh, that should trigger our entry for the uh, bearish movement in footsies let me delete that so that actually there's a less clutter and on the daily time frame we can actually see where exactly our target are uh, in the approximate area so approximately our target is going to be in this region which is 6500 ish area I'm expecting this trend to continue uh, to actually stay for about two to three weeks time period and this is going to be very interesting trading setup if you are guys are interested in uh, shorting FTSE do understand please that money management is crucial uh, this video that I'm providing is for educational and entertainment and if you want to make any entertain decisions do you understand that you are going to make those decisions using your own analysis uh, or using uh, your own discretion as uh, so right now in the next one is uh, so this is clearly bearish this is an interesting trading setup being de uh, developed and I wanted to present it to you guys uh, it takes a bit of time for market to bring a trading setup it's not like every day or every morning or in the evening we will have uh, some trading setups at least the one that is actually gonna last two three weeks so we are very very close to the uh, starting of a new trading setup uh, in FTSE now the commentary is about NASDAQ and the other two first of all actually let's have a look at this commentary is not same for all the three indices that we are gonna discuss uh, right now I'm discussing NASDAQ uh, right uh, and the thing that we are seeing in commentary section in the all right over here is we are definitely expecting for the prices to go up somewhere in this region and then I'm expecting for uh, them to fall when the prices fall on NASDAQ I'm expecting to create uh, that market will actually create a support structure a corrective pattern above this support structure that we are seeing right now so this is an important point that I wanted to bring that when we go up there and when you come down we are expected to form a structure above uh, this whole support area now once again this analysis is not same for all three indices uh, this is just a commentary uh, so far we are unable to form uh, any uh, uh, what you call any trading setup right now we are simply bullish on the I did indicate on the weekend that I'm bullish on uh, on, on the indices NASDAQ as an important one the reason is because when NASDAQ goes up and creates a high I'm expecting that NASDAQ will actually penetrate this one right over here and a deeper correction is expected right over here and then some sideways price movement alright so two different points 
with the Nasdaq we are expected to go up and form a correction pattern on above the previous pattern but with Dow Jones when it goes up and creates top that is expected to be an important important top we since then it's expected to be an important top we can definitely convert that into a trading setup for that we'll have to wait for the prices to go up and then for now we'll have to wait for the prices to break below this one right over here that will be indication that the move actually started from over here is complete and then the prices have dropped below this area as well uh, but that will be very very ugly uh, entry point so we'll have to wait for more price action so that we can actually form an opinion on entry points all right so that we can actually form an opinion on entry point once again so it's in the process we need more data when that happens uh, we'll definitely be able to provide them but this is a warning I wanted to give that when it goes up then the a deeper price movement is expected in in Dow Jones with the S&P 500 we are expecting a similar behavior to Nasdaq uh, we have seen an Im uh, impulsive movement a corrective movement an impulsive movement and then corrective pattern is expected to form above this pattern this one and then we shall expect uh, we'll look after the analysis after that but with Dow Jones uh, we are definitely seeing some more weakness as compared to Nasdaq and S&P 500 with FTSE it definitely is gonna move more stronger than even Dow Jones and it's gonna create an even a new lower low in uh, in FTSE so FTSE is very uh, bearish as compared to when the price movement actually completes on that upward so this is an important point right now we are heading into upward area and I'm expecting it to continue as a bullish behavior and when that is complete once again we are expecting the next pattern to form above this pattern this is very understand please understand every single word that I'm trying to say so that you do not uh, mix up the analysis section let's have a look at Bitcoin now the problem with the if you guys uh, have been using Elliott wave analysis uh, this is once again is no excuse it's just trying I'm trying to explain why did I all of a sudden went from uh, that a bottom has been formed to know the bottom has not been formed and I'm bearish, bearish for next uh, I think I gave a, a date for that is November uh, 2023 for a bottom to be formed the whole reason is because I was trying to find cycles in the data and I have been trying it for a good while the reason is because Bitcoin is extremely volatile not only is extremely volatile uh, apart from Elliott wave analysis the patterns are same but the other patterns which the technical patterns that I look at it some new patterns I've seen being formed in Bitcoin and that is because Bitcoin is extremely extremely volatile uh, so it goes up like a thousand percent it comes down like a 800 900 percent so n not 800 900 percent but 80 percent to 90 percent how can it go down 800 to 900 percent so it can go up about a thousand percent two thousand percent similar with all other cryptocurrencies so this is an important indication we are definitely looking something uh, very important and <laughs> Uh, Elliott wave analysis I was using uh, Elliott wave analysis Elliott wave analysis comes with different alternating counts uh, but with cycles analysis when you zoom in on the cycles it kind of provides just one single idea uh, it gives you maybe two not more than that maybe two yeah maybe two readings it can give you that okay either this is gonna happen or either the next thing is gonna happen and with that cycle studies now I haven't point found out some important data on Bitcoin that is indicating that Bitcoin is actually and the cryptocurrencies are going to be very bearish in that case a lot of a lot of these uh, huge firms are going to fail we are definitely uh, seeing the dot-com uh, crash kind of behavior in cryptocurrency so we will see some nice companies come out of it uh, which will be strong in their behavior I'm already seeing a changing behavior the uh, the way the price cryptocurrencies are behaving right now and we will be able to use that knowledge and that analysis when the market has bottomed out and I'm pretty sure that with the with the knowledge we'll be able to find the leaders of the next bullish market so do to stay in tune if you guys are interested in that we'll be discussing that 
So first of all, this one is just footsie. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to actually bring the footsie in, and this video, although I set it on YouTube, will be available on uh, Patreon, especially. All right. So this video will not be available on on YouTube. This is only Patreon page analysis that I'm doing for. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one, and bye bye.